Hello. So, <clears throat> next up is a dilemma I'm uh, playing with. So, these are the same uh, pictures, but... So, if this would be the panel, uh, the gray areas here are the rubber magnet, and the tiny ones here are the neodymium. These are gonna be the tweeters, and the rest is gonna be mid-range low-end. Uh, it's not like uh, the size is not correct. It will be a bit bigger, uh, unfortunately. Let me see. I got a magnet here. Yeah. So yeah, they're gonna be bigger, which is no surprise. But um, now the question is the following, which is kind of a. I'm not sure what to do, and maybe you can shine some light on it, or at least some opinions uh, would be helpful. So, for instance, the coil. I am gonna cut it on the plotter, I think, as for now. But uh, with the material I got, it's it's impossible to get a low enough resonance, or sorry, low enough impedance, um, like 4 ohmish or a 3.3 .3 or 3.4 unless I get the coil all over but that will make it mono, mono so now the question is the tweeters are gonna be stereo now the question is I could like split the foil up you know like in the middle so there's gonna be a coil Boop. Uh, is this correct? Yeah. Then it goes up here. Up. This isn't... Wow. It's hard to follow. Boop, boop, boop. And then one time down here. And then there will be a connection pad here. And one here. So, blah, blah, blah. We'll do the same for the other side. Then we have two speakers. That will be stereo. Uh, now, th this will only be like one and a half ohm, so it will be too low. So, what I'm thinking of is also do the same on the back side of the foil, which is going to be tricky. So, it's going to have the same bloop de doop de doop but the connection points underneath the original connection points but with a uh, circle or something in the top layer and here as well so i could connect them both by some sort of uh, soldering or something now this looks really nice and i think well that's well that could that could work only problem i have is if you got low end or mid range on the left channel, this channel uh, for instance, it will only emit from this panel and this thing is just being that weighed. And what I'm afraid of, it might create some really weird resonances that will fuck up your whole um, output as well as a frequency response. So that's the only downside. Option two is Option two, I'll grab a new paper. Option two will be, this will be kind of the same. So there's a line here or a coil that goes like this, blah, blah, blah. Poop, 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 poop. I could have used the same thing, I guess. No, I couldn't. Then it doesn't stop here, it goes further. So it's going to the right side as well. Maybe should have used a... Uh, <laughs> a ruler. But it goes to there. Then there is a connection point here. And one is gonna be here. So now actually the coil is everywhere except for this part and I'll do the same flipped over for this channel so 
there will be a coil here, but not there. We will get the same resistance or impedance, but if, uh, yeah, well, if there is sound like, like low end only on the left channel, still most of the membrane is playing in, which makes it, I believe, uh, give a little bit, uh, well, not so much more output, but uh, at least it's uniformly driven and might give less troubles and then the reason why I left these pieces over is to get I don't know if it even works but at least a part that is different from left to right but the main thing is the middle because here is where you can create the most output in the lower end and I'll if I talk low in this kind of speaker, you talk like 100 hertz, 120 or something, not, not much lower than that, I think. But so this does normally the bulk of the work. So if this was used and there was a sound at 100 hertz only on the left channel, only this part of the membrane will be used. It's not a, those are not separate speakers, they're separate coils on the same foil because I want to keep it small. You could make like two panels, like add a, for instance, add a, a spacer here, like, uh, you know, plastics or wood or whatever, then you got two panels. But the problem is that the resonance of these two is much, much higher and you will never reach 120, maybe like 400. And that would not be very useful. So the only thing, I also did the same with the old panel, by the way, uh, how it works is using the whole panel as, uh, as a whole thing to get resonance low and then use two coils to kind of create two speakers on one membrane. The previous video of my Bluetooth speaker, the first version was using this kind of setup. So. The base mid-range used all the foil here, both left and right, and then there was a tweeter on the side, which was independent, like real left, real right, and then sort of like a subwoofer that plays much higher than you would like normally, but this is a Bluetooth thing. There is not much separation to begin with because the, the loudspeakers are not far enough apart to create some sort of left-right situation so what do you what do you think I think I think really that this one is the most efficient and might create less problems so if I measure only left then at least the whole membrane almost except for this piece here is used well if I only measure left on this kind of setup this whole part here is just flapping along and might create some real trouble. So yeah, uh, in short, what do you think? I think left and right should like use the whole membrane in the middle, except for the side pieces. Or if you're in group two, you want to split the panel in half and use left, right without a spacer. So let me know. This is my bloody uh, drawing. I didn't know I was this crappy. I, I, I must say I do improve. This one looks uh, marginally crappier than this one. Although this one looks shit as well. That's a really tiny video. And um, please let me know in the comments which version you think might work best. By the way, here there's gonna be a tweeter, wiring, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. And they will run down also to where the connection points are. Boop. So it's also going to be a very interesting plotting thing because it's going to be a membrane with coils on both sides. So that's quite interesting to see how that works, if it works at all. But this is the only way you can get multiple turns in this really tiny gap while using foil 
because with wire this would be really easy but I modeled one for the tweeter and that's not so easy because it used a lot of turns it's it's gonna be annoying so I want to print those to begin with then I thought well I as well print the rest or plot the rest if that doesn't work I will use wires for this whole thing except for the tweeters but I think that's wasteful for the aluminium foil since you only use two tiny parts but it will cost you the whole piece of aluminium foil. So let me know what you think and uh, talk to you later. Tomorrow another day. It might be... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... Probably gonna make the jig and maybe a frame if I got the time. Who knows? See you around. Bye bye.